Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, today is my mom's birthday, April 27th. Today is also the three year anniversary of Winston surviving a vicious attack. On April 27th, 2020, Winston and I were outside of my apartment, just minding our own business on the sidewalk when the neighbor dog from ac across the parking lot jumped over a concrete wall and attacked Winston on the sidewalk, tearing him in half. Within 15 minutes of the attack, Winston was in life-saving surgery. On the three minute drive to the vet, I thought for sure he was going to die in my arms. I got to say goodbye to him before he went into surgery because I didn't know if he was going to make it. And this was during COVID. I showed up to the vet with one shoe on. I don't even know where my shoe went. And they let us in because I didn't know if my son was going to survive. He was literally ripped in half from elbow to elbow via the jaws of my neighbor dog vicious seething beast of a dog about an hour and a half later I got a call from the veterinarian who is a miracle worker she will always have a special place in my heart Crosswinds Animal Hospital in Gilbert Arizona saved Winston's life on that phone call she said to me and I quote that extra quarter inch of fat on his back saved his ass because that dog's canine tooth was literally a quarter inch fr from puncturing Winston's lung, which would have killed him immediately. Winston survived. This is his survival anniversary. Less than a week later, he underwent reconstructive surgery because he ended up losing about one third of his body. He was put back together with Velcro and staples. But he had a miraculous healing and recovery. And it was shortly after that, I started van life because I realized that life is really short and it can change in an instant because my soulmate was almost taken from me by an irresponsible human's dog on the sidewalk in front of my apartment where we were supposed to be safe. It's been three years and I'm currently not at liberty to talk about the outcome of the entire situation, but Winston survived and that's what matters. And that's what drove me to change my life and do van life. Thousands of dollars later, uh, PTSD diagnosis, tons of therapy sessions. I have a, a fear of big dogs now. A lot of people ask me if I'm afraid of wildlife and coyotes and all these things, and I'm not. I'm more concerned about humans and their dogs because not everybody's responsible. It's also one of the reasons I really like to camp in solitude because I don't have to worry about other people's dogs. I have such an extreme fear. And for the first two weeks after Winston's attack, or, you know, I don't want to give him possession of the attack, of the attack on Winston, I was very angry, very resentful. As you can imagine, I wasn't sleeping. I literally, for a month, like May 2020, I I like almost blocked it out of my memory, it seems. I just remember, I mean, it was COVID, so it was a hard enough time. My stepdad had just passed away, and I here I was in my apartment. The mattress was on the floor. Jordan was running all of the errands. Um, we had people sending us, you know, blankets and medical supplies and all these things because I literally was having to drain fluids from Winston's back three times a day. And I was really angry and I was really resentful. 
But after his reconstructive surgery, I changed my attitude to gratitude because I realized, holy shit, my son's alive. He made it. He's alive. And that's something to be grateful for. And I'm also grateful that I was able to be with him 24-7 and literally dedicate my life to his healing because I was not going to have it any other way. And a shout out again to Crosswinds. Dr. Roach is literally a lifesaver. And Dr. Savicki at VCA, who reconstructed him with Velcro and staples, he had never seen anything like Winston's attack. He had never seen anything like it. He did kind of an experiment to put his body back together, and it worked. And as you guys see, it's like, it's hard to even tell anymore. He used to look different. I had to retire him from Pet Smart Modeling, but that's okay, because now he's thriving, and we are living our best lives in the van. Today is Winston's survival day, and I'm grateful that he turns 12 this year because he has another 10 years with me. Now I just want to share some footage of Winston living his best life. Are you living your best life? Do you have your bone? I'm going to find a good spot to bury it. Good boy. Are you cozy in there? Are you resting in your playpen? Oh yeah, I forgot we put in your toys last night. We'll have to take your toys back out, huh? I'm cozy and relaxed. Happy boy. Mommy almost fell. Can you go left? Good boy. Can you sit? Sit. Can you dance? <laughs> and go left again. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Can you sit? And can you crouch? Yeah, crouch. Crouch. Oh, almost. I know it's kind of hard on this, on this ground. You're such a handsome man.